Hey, what's up everyone? This is Eli from checkit.com here with an After Effects tutorial on everyone's second favorite day of the week, Effects Friday. And guess what today's tutorial is about, guys? So exciting. Not really. It's just an asphalt kind of uh, like intro thing. And you guys can go to checkit.com to download this for free if you would like to save time and be lazy. But if you want to watch exactly how I made this, keep watching the tutorial. So um, anyway, if you guys could, please give the video a like for all this hard work and all this free stuff we're giving away. And uh, it really does help us out. But also, don't forget to leave a comment right now saying whatever you want. I don't care what you say. You can say Brandon Sexy. I don't care. As long as you comment because I'm putting all of my favorite comments at the end of the video. And stay tuned to the end of the video to see if your last comment made it to this tutorial. So anyway... Now we can get started, so let's bring up After Effects and uh, make a new project if you haven't already done that. So we have this huge blank project. Let's first start out by making a new composition and let's make it 1920 by 1080. Let's just name this uh, composition main. Well, you know, not with a capital A though. There we go. Uh, 29 frames per second. Uh, just 10 seconds is fine. Make it however long you want it. That's what she said. <laughs> oh gosh. Okay, so. And this always annoys me. I'm just going to exit out of the render queue. All right. So let's start out by making the background. So let's go and, let's, uh, yeah, right click down here, new, solid. And let's just call this uh, BG. Make it whatever color you want. This is just a dark brown or dark gray. It doesn't really matter. Let's go over to effects and presets. Type in frac for fractal noise. Let's drag and drop it onto the BG. And uh, right away, here's what we got to do. Let's make it. Contrast to 4, brightness of negative 45, and let's uh, bring down the transform options. For scale, let's scale it up all the way. Just click and drag this all the way over. And this doesn't look very good right now, but watch this. Let's right click, go new, solid once again. Doesn't matter what you, uh, you call it or whatever. I'm just going to call it asphalt. Hit OK. Now, we're going to click and drag Fractal Noise on top of the Asphalt layer. And here's where we differ things up. So, Fractal Type, let's go down to Turbulent Smooth. Now, Noise Type, we're just going to go down to Spline. Contrast, uh, let's make it 125. Brightness, how about negative 55. And let's bring down the Transform Options again. And this time, let's bring bring it up to no let's bring it down let's bring it down to like six and now um, besides that we can keep everything else the same so if you don't have blending modes you hit F4 down here with this uh, window selected to bring up your blending modes and let's just change this to add and that just gives it kind of a you know more interesting than a just like black background it kind of adds some depth to it too and not make it look so much like a starry sky right now. But anyway, let's pre-compose this. Because this was the first step. Go up to layer. Then down to pre-compose. And let's just call this asphalt BG. Enter. Alright, so let's move on. Next, let's go to the text tool. Let's uh, close down this. Just click the little eye so it goes away. Let's click in the middle. And let's type out whatever we want. I'm just going to do road enter intro oh, let's see intro what what should i make the last thing how about how about template not not like the intro yeah it is exactly like the intro anyway uh click and drag and let's uh, just make it you know just aim it however you want but make sure that it's a block that's all i'm going to say i mean it doesn't have to be but if you want to make it look good i would recommend making it into a block so Let's click on road and actually make it bigger, cool. That's what she said, joke somewhere in there. And now let's kind of, uh, you know, work on this. Let's click and drag this down a little bit. There we go. Template, let's move it up. Oops, this way. Yeah. Just basic text editing. All right, cool. So actually just make sure this is centered real quick because that would get annoying yeah it is okay so 
Let's uh, click and drag this to the center by eye. Let's actually scale it up quick. And just center it by eye because uh, we're gangsters and we don't need no freaking help at all. Goodness. All right, cool. Let's just bring the scale down to like 120, maybe even smaller. <laughs> Yeah, that's a she oh gosh. I'm gonna, I gotta stop with that. Okay, so awesome. Actually, maybe even a little smaller. Goodness gracious. Uh like one oh five maybe? Yeah, that should be okay. Alright, so now with this layer selected, let's go up to layer, pre compose, and let's just call this logo. Hit enter. And I did this because this is our main thing. We have our logo and our asphalt background. But if you guys want to edit this, you can just click in here and boom, edit the text. It's very simple. But also, let's do this quick. Let's go right click, new, solid. Let's make it the same color of your text, which is just a kind of uh, worn out yellow orange color. And also, I'm using a, a basic text that comes with After Effects, Rockwell Extra Bold. It's very simple. Okay. And now let's uh, make something interesting. Those uh, those blocks on the side. And let's actually hit enter over here and just, just call this something that uh, you'll remember. Road. Road blocks. Whatever. Okay. So now go back to the effects and presets and let's type in grid. And now this is a very powerful plugin, but we're just going to do some basic editing with it. So let's first change the anchor point. So right now it's in the middle. I'm just going to click on the top to change that. And then let's uh, go back to our move tool. And then let's uh, change size from to width and height sliders. And uh, the width, we'll mess with that in a second. But for the height, make it 4,000. Just so it just you make sure that you just get rid of all the, the height lines. But now for the width, uh, let's invert the grid. Let's bring up the border. And now we get to mess with this. Hmm. How do we want to make them look? That's the question. I kind of like that right there. So, once you have that, let's uh, click the color again. Click the little eyedropper. And let's grab the same color. Boom. Now, with roadblock selected, go up to here. Click and hold if you don't have the rectangular tool selected actually yeah rectangular tool and now double click on the rectangular tool to make a quick rectangular mask click off of it and click on the top left and then hold shift and click on the top right and just bring that mask down while holding shift awesome right about there would be cool for me and now click off of it go over to the left bottom dot and then the right bottom dot while holding shift, you're going to click on it and do the same thing as bring it up. So by eye, it looks pretty good. Now we're going to go over to the blending mode and we're going to do stencil alpha. Awesome, right? But you can't see the inner part. So now let's go to the mask and hit control D to duplicate it. And then instead of add, let's do subtract. And then let's uh, actually click off of it. Click on it. Ah, uh, you know what? We're just going to have to click and drag. Hold shift, click and drag over. And let's actually drag it up a little bit. Cool. And then let's click off of it. Click on the dot there. And let's bring it down. Now let's click over here. Click off of it. Click that one. Hold shift, go up there and just bring it in until boom. Check that out. And actually, I don't like how that looks, but we'll fix that in a second. Okay, let's uh, actually bring this point down. There we go. So now it's masked off, but it doesn't look very, very good. So let's actually move the rock template over a little bit. A road, not rock. What the heck? <laughs> uh, tutorials make me so nervous. Okay, boom. There we go. All right. So now we have our road layer cut out with these little lines over here. It looks so cool, right? No, let's fix that up. Right click down here, go new adjustment layer. Boom. Let's actually just hit enter and just call it grit. Just so we don't get it mixed up with anything. Now let's go over to our effects and presets, type in roughen. We're going to click and drag roughen edges onto grit. 
And let's uh, let's just mess with it. Let's go to 20. Let's bring down, actually, the scale. Let's bring that down a little bit. Complexity. You could turn it up a little bit. That's kind of cool. Yeah, I think that actually looks pretty good. Awesome. And uh, you guys can always, you know, keep going if you want. I mean, anything would look pretty good. Just make sure that you kind of follow these guidelines and make sure it looks cool. So, in the end, we're just going to go over to the effects and presets and type in, guess what? Fractal noise again. <laughs> Click and drag fractal noise onto grit. And uh, here's what we're going to do here. Let's turn up the contrast a little bit. And then let's uh, bring up the transform options and just scale it up some more. Then let's go down to the blending mode and go multiply. Cool, right? It just adds that gritty look to it. And now we can go back to our main and turn back on the asphalt. And boom. Doesn't that look so realistic, guys? Oh, it's so awesome. No, it does not. Let's fix that up right now. With logo selected, let's actually bring up the you know, blending mode again by hitting F4 if you don't have it up. And then let's go to add. And that just brings the, the dots through. But now it still doesn't look that good. So what we're going to do is we're going to right click on logo. We're going to go to layer styles. Go down to bevel and emboss. We're going to bring down the properties for it. Then we're going to go to the size and just type 1. And that already looks a million times better. But you know what? Let's uh, actually go back to the asphalt background. And let's, uh, let's fix this up a little bit. Brightness, let's bring down some more. Yeah, there we go. And that should look a lot better already. Uh, it's a little too dark. <laughs> that's what she said. Goodness gracious. Somebody, that's what she said. Jokes. All right, guys, welcome back. I wasn't expecting to, you know, let you guys go right there, so I'm sorry for the fade out, but I'm just such a perfectionist that I had to take time and really find exactly what I wanted to do. So uh, here's the settings I used. Um, contrasting for the asphalt layer is negative 46. And then for the background, I ended up using 4, negative 47. For the logo, I'm actually... Still working on the fractal noise part, but for the rough and edges, I used a border of 12.3, a scale of 29, and a complexity of 3. And now uh, for the fractal noise, I'm actually going to do this in front of you. So let's actually bring the scale down, bring the contrasting up, you know, and really... Whoa. Nope. Not too much up. Just enough. There, that looks better. That looks more gritty. And now, this is what we have. And I know it doesn't look too good right now, but it will. Actually. <laughs> Goodness, I'm such a perfectionist. This sucks. Okay, asphalt. Let's bring the brightness down just just a tad. Doesn't need to have that much little little dots. Alright, so... Let's uh, real quick hit Control S and let's just call this Road Asphalt Intro II for two. And I'll include this one too, so go download it. Goodness gracious. All right, so now we can get to the fun part. Let's right click, go New Adjustment Layer, and let's call this first one DOF for Depth of Field. Now let's go over to here, type in Blur. Boom. Let's go down to camera lens blur. Click and drag it onto depth of field. And let's bring the depth of field radius up to 8. And then let's actually, with it selected, click and hold onto the, the rectangular tool and go down to the ellipse tool. Double click the ellipse tool. And then invert the mask. Let's actually turn up the feather to like here. What? Let's go to around 250. And then let's mess with the mask. So start here. Uh, let's start right about there. Go over. Now you know what I want to do quick, actually, is I want to click on both of these, hit scale, 
Whoa, someone's calling me. Sorry, I can't answer that. Goodness gracious, I'm so popular. <laughs> Hit R, and let's bring up the rotation. Let's go to like negative 8. Yeah, cool. Let's actually size up these two layers a little bit more. S, let's go to 130 maybe. Uh, maybe, maybe not that large. Let's go to 125. Awesome, that looks really good. All right, so now let's mess with the depth of field because uh, it changes a lot. Sorry about that. I wasn't thinking straight. All right, let's click and drag this up here and just mess with it until you find the depth of field that you want. For me, I want some of this showing up here more so that it looks like it's easing into it. Cool. That actually looks pretty cool to me. All right, so the last step, well, for the look-wise, let's go new, solid. Let's type in Viggy. Boom, let's bring it down to black, because we like them black, right, ladies? <laughs> hey, I'm part black. I'm not racist. It's a color correction term. Okay, anyway, with Viggy Select, I get so distracted. With Viggy Select, let's go up to this uh, ellipse tool, and let's double-click it. Oh my goodness, I'm so popular. Okay, so let's <laughs> now invert the the mask. Let's bring down the options. Let's go up to about 300. And then with the blending modes, if you don't have it up, it's at four. Let's go down to soft light. And then let's hit T and bring down the opacity. Just, just a tig bit. Awesome. And with that, your focus is there. But let's mess with the mask a little bit. So it's more focusing even more on just the center part. So right about there. You can drag it. Cool. Not too much. There you go. Awesome. Look at that. Uh, maybe the top is a little, it's a little too close. There we go. Control S to save it. All right. So. The last step now, now that we have it looking pretty awesome, I mean, look at this detail. I mean, for something being made directly in After Effects, this looks pretty awesome. So, let's go right-click, go New, Camera, hit OK, doesn't matter what you call it. And uh, let's hit F4 once again and bring up these options. Now, we don't want to make these two 3D, just these bottom two. So they're affected by the camera. These, we do not want to be affected by the camera because, you know, they're not scaled up with the other ones. Anyway, well, on the camera layer, let's bring down the options. Go down to the camera options. And with zoom, let's go all the way left quick. Click on it. Go all the way right. And let's just bring it up to around 1300, maybe more. Yeah, 1322 is good. Now let's bring down the transform options. And on orientation, let's first click the stopwatch at the beginning and let's keyframe the bot the back end. Let's go to what like 300 maybe? Whoa, too much. Holy guacamole. Let's go back down to zero. <laughs> Goodness. Oh, whoops, wrong way. Oh, too much. Goodness. Let's just mess with it. All right, that looks kind of good, but let's just kind of finish it up. It doesn't need to go that far. How about 359? How'd that do? Whoa, no, not enough. 350. 350 is good. There we go. All right, so now it just does a nice, smooth zoom in while you know getting closer which looks really good and with that we are now done so let's hit control s with this bot this bottom layer selected let's hit control m and then click on the output module format windows media output to desktop and we'll do asphalt example i i enter render and with that, we are done. So thanks for watching, guys. 
Sorry if this tutorial was a little longer than uh, you wanted it to be, but I like to explain everything to a T. So, uh, yeah, you could suck it if you hated this. I hate you. But anyway, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys on the next Effects Friday, but uh, make sure that you wait until the end to see if your comments made it to my favorite comments at the end, and also see what we created at the end of this tutorial. So, I'll see you guys later. Peace.